Hello everyone, a very warm welcome from Cogniprint. As we all know, engineering graphics has always been a tough nut to crack for students. So, in order to make the students understand the topic better and to drive away the fear and thus making it easier for students to learn and the teachers to teach, we present you this software tool. There are 13 sections in this module each with very unique features to offer. We'll go through every section one at a time. First is the theory animations. Clicking on this thumbnail below, we see that there are a number of 3D animated audio and visual products. For example, I'll click on this auxiliary views. Here, we get the details about the projection from the car. Thus, the principal view of an object can thus be represented using the orthographic projection for the surface identification of the object. The auxiliary planes are of two types. First is auxiliary inclined plane AIP and second is auxiliary vertical plane AVP. AIP is always perpendicular to BP and inclined to HP at an angle. Thus, each drawing topic reinforces the same principle so this digital illustration helps us clearly understand about the topic which won't be that effective in a blackboard teaching method you can play pause seek and repeat the topic the you top can also view, view it in full project the details of the mounting plate from the top view vertically above the line x y Moving on to animated solved examples, here the examples are solved using animations. There are a number of animations. So first we have Hello. the orthographic view. Today we will boss hole, rib and slotted vertical plate. Now let us start with the front view and we will first draw the rectangle for the base plate 170 mm by 15 mm 35 mm above the ground so this projections of this object is generated step by step and this helps students to visualize the object and the problem statement given to them and top view don't forget its hole that is throughout the vertical plate. Moving on, we have the printable solved examples. These are the printable solutions that you can hand out to your students. I will show you how to print them. There are n number of problem statements. You can print as many as you wish. For example, the I'll take this example. So after you click on this printer dialog button, the printer dialog box will reopen and then you can select your printer and then hit the print option. Next, we have the interactive object explorer. As the name itself suggests, it's very interactive for the students. Here also there are a number of problems. For example, I will take this example. And you see that using mouse, I can highlight the different parts of the 3D object. And we see that the projections on the different views are also getting highlighted. Be it an end view, elevation view, or the plan view. Here there is a hand which shows the direction in which the viewer is observing the object. We can also see the blinking. The blinking shows us that these are the invisible part of the object, so the dotted lines, and these are not visible to the observer, but then it is present in the object. You can turn off this dimension, turn on the dimensions, you can view half the section of the object or the full, the full section of the object. So, here repetition uh, of this object, complex objects every day is not possible so the next day you can just open this tool and show your students what you had taught in the previous class
so it would be a revision for your students as it takes more time to draw this object in a blackboard so this saves your time as well as your efforts next we have the missing view so here there are two views given the elevation and the right hand view we have to draw the plan view by using these two views so students must first visualize this object and then they can find the missing view so we first show the students how the object might look the machine itself shows us the instructions we must follow first uh, it shows where the pointing finger it shows where we must click and then the projections would be generated and uh, Im imaginary visualization of the object will take place in this tool so these are the steps that are to be followed to make a visualization of the object and then the students can draw the respective plan view this also increases the visualization power students start loving the subject when it becomes easier for them to understand so we get the plan view by seeing the end view elevation and the visualized object you can also repeat it once again if any of your students have not understood the topic next we have the assembly to disassembly here also it is a guided learning that like you can click on this button and the parts of the objects will get disassembled here there is also labeling of each of the parts so that students can understand the parts which are there inside the object next we have the interactive intersection explorer here when i click on this we see that this section here includes the interactive modules and that we can explain the different views of the solid when it is intersected with the other planes like here it is cone and pyramid here it is cone and box hexagonal pyramid and a cylinder similarly when i click on this cone and pyramid uh, when i move this mouse in horizontal way we see the projections how it differ there are screw, two scrub but, but, buttons in the bottom uh, i can make this view look more transparent as like in the books and more like a solid if i increase the view i can also diminish the projection lines if it is looking more complex and also i can maximize it here also we have another example that of a pyramid here there are cases for example here the case is parallel to the horizontal plane and vertical to the perpendicular to the vertical plane another case is of a parallel to vertical plane and per, uh, perpendicular to horizontal plane so we see that the planes intersect from the different angles and occur accordingly here the projections are getting deferred next we have the visualization booster here this section contains different modules to help students visualize complex concepts better and these and this helps teachers to change the parameters interactively and then explain these complex uh, objects for example here we have the archimedium spiral and uh, when i click on the start button the archimedium spiral is getting generated these are some of the questions that are usually asked in the exams and we have also taken problems that are mostly asked in the previous exams i can reset it and i can change the rod height then i can change the rod height and the point position and then start again
similar here in this sketch view teachers can give a specific time limit for the students to complete the given task here the task is to finish drawing the front view within this given time teachers can change it for 120 minutes or 60 minutes i will keep it as one minute so what happens is uh, the timer will start and once the timer is over it will display the answer so then students can compare their answers with the actual answer this also helps teachers to evaluate the students performance next we have the interactive projections of line here what happens is i can select the view so if i want it as perpendicular to the vertical plane and parallel to the horizontal plane and by hovering this mouse i can see how the plane will look in a vertical plane or in a horizontal plane and then i can generate the projections and the respective figure will be drawn the questions are basically given such that a 30 uh, 30 mm perpendicular to the vertical plane and parallel to horizontal plane so then students can understand how it works how the different cases and how the respective figure would look like next we have the projection of planes here by selecting on selecting a color from this collect selector and i can move this mouse over the object and i can apply the selected color and teachers can explain how it is getting highlighted in the other views for different of parts of the object you can select different colors to distinguish it from the other views next we have the projection of plane quiz here students can select the color and they can teachers can ask the question so where it which color would come here so if the select this color then it would show no it is the wrong uh, answer this color over here he should show yeah it is the right answer this tool is a great visualization booster as well as the quick test um, and this helps teachers to analyze how the how much the students have understood the concept of projections next we have the intersecting objects com combinator here i can select the different objects which from which it must be intersected it can be a cuboid and a pyramid or sphere and a sphere and then i can change the visibility view and the projection lines of the object I can, I can diminish it or maximize it i can make the view more like in a book or i can maximize it and i make i can make it transparent an object as well next we have the class box theory here this project uh, teachers can show the students how the cam camera parameters of an orthographic camera would look like and how it would look like in an auto 3d rotation view and how it is different in the visualization i can also increase the size of the object i can make it smaller i can increase the size of the size of the object and see the right hand side view front view and the top view next i can show the projection lines uh, of the front view top view right hand side view and show how the projections would look like in the respective object so how it would look like in a front view how it will look like in a top view how it will look like in right hand side view this is a very easy object so it is easy to analyze the object next we if we have a tapered object then students can see if the right hand side view is a square shape and front view is a square shape how it would look like in the top view it would be a triangle and the color would be orange next uh, we have the expert videos these are uh, the lectures who are very experienced and renowned experts 
and they are very experienced and they got years of experience in their field so here we have the mr dhawade sir he students can get inspired by hearing to them and he has also given an example of use an object and explained it to next we have shraddha rishpande her like her interview lecture next uh, there are lecture plans so we understand the fact that every teacher has a different style and methodology of teaching so these lecture plans are editable you just have to click on the lectures and these lecture plans are getting downloaded in the respective screens and then you can edit it as well it directly opens in the powerpoint the embed now i'll show you how to embed this link in your ppts for example i am taking the fundamentals of the exciting click on this here embed in your lecture and then go to powerpoint click on the blank presentation and then give it a name my lecture and now i will insert a rectangle shape now go back to insert and click on this action here you in this dialog box you see run program now the link which you have copied paste it control v click on okay so when i click on this box here this dialog box will open click on enable welcome to the exciting world of engineering graphics and so you see that the video is getting open right from your ppt slide isn't this amazing and now you see that these unique features have a lot to offer we have taken a lot of efforts to cater to all the needs a teacher has in her classroom the next is the 3d stereo visuals this is a part which students have loved since the beginning you will need a 3d goggle for this so you can see the difference so when i am using a 3d goggle and when i'm not using a 3d goggle you can see the, the difference in the views so with a 3d goggle it will look as if the views are coming alive from the screen this is a feature which is not available in a blackboard powerpoint or in youtube next we have the objective questions multiple choice questions on this projection theory so there are number of questions teachers can use this in their classroom to validate the students knowledge and also to upgrade their understanding on the subject there is much to learn when you go through each one of the problems it's very unique and now in this first problem by uh, reading the questions te teachers can ask the students to answer these questions so they can invest so they can involve the students in answering this questions so if i select this d option it will show yes it is a correct answer so if i select some other option a option it will show no it is a wrong answer as you see now that i have explained all the parts of this module uh, these are very unique and you can explore it so if you wish to explore it then there is a, uh, in the description the details are given also otherwise you can send us a mail at info at the rate cognifrant.com and would love to hear from you thank you so much